There are a number of neurodevelopmental disorders that impact social communication, speech, and language. Remarkably, many of the genes that have been identified in humans that affect speech development also seem to have strong parallels in their effect on song development in birds. The reason we study songbirds is because songbirds actually learn their songs by imitating the song of their father or other adult birds of the same species. And then they go through an extended phase of vocal practice where they'll practice their song upwards of 100,000 times during development. We studied this using lots of different methods, from reduced methods where we're looking at the electrophysiological properties of neurons in the brain and the circuits that control this behavior, to mapping studies where we're trying to better understand how the different nodes in the brain are connected up that control this behavior. The ultimate goal is to provide deeper fundamental insights into the neural circuits that allow animals, including humans, to learn from auditory experiences, to change their motor behaviors, to learn from auditory feedback, and eventually learn speech. The songbird can provide new insights into how the brain is organized and how we're able to accomplish the remarkable behaviors that we do.